Super Bowl VI just seconds away from getting underway. Needless to say, Tulane Stadium doesn't have an empty seat. To go into a Super Bowl, particularly the first Super Bowl you're in, like Super Bowl VI for us, and just get uh, your ass handed to you is really bad. It's the most depressing thing that can happen. Just think, those people that had those white handkerchiefs waiting before we came out, I think they're going to use them to dry their eyes now. When we lost Super Bowl VI so badly to the Dallas Cowboys, Coach Shula brought us all in the locker room afterwards, shut the doors and said, now, fellas, it's only us in here and we've got to make a decision. We can blame anything but ourselves. If we all take and shoulder the blame and face the music, we will survive and we'll be a better team. When you experience the frustrations that I personally have experienced and then our football team experienced last year, then victory uh, becomes that much more meaningful. And when you play for a guy named Shula, you don't want to make mistakes because you end up playing in Buffalo the next year, or maybe the next week, or maybe the next day. Super Bowl VIII from Rice Stadium, Houston, Texas, between the Miami Dolphins and the Minnesota Vikings. We went into Super Bowl VIII against the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings were quite a team. We had played them a couple of times earlier in the season. I nearly got taken out of the game on a stretcher. We knew that it was going to be a tough game. We knew it was going to be a very physical game. We were confident, but we weren't overly confident. Of course, we had people like Paul Warfield. French back going deep for Warfield. He's in the open. We had other things in our repertoire that we could fall to, but we really wanted to try to establish the run. Of course, when you have five perennial all pros in front of you in the offensive line, it gives you a pretty good feeling about being a power running back. I don't know if the play that I have in mind is the turning point. Second down at the two yard line. But it became evident that we could pretty much control the ball. Breezy turning around, looks as though he's almost talking to Zanka. My offensive lineman had removed the defensive lineman out of the picture. Now he hands off to Zonk, heading right. I ran into Wally Hilgenberg. He was pretty much by himself, and we still powered in. Touchdown, Larry Zonka! Zonka, touchdown! At that point, it gave me the feeling that we were in control, so I felt confident from that point forward. Larry Zonka, who has set an individual record, sort of puts the topping on an outstanding performance. Super Bowls. The worst thing is to lose one, particularly the first one you're in, but now what you do with that decides your future. They're counting down. Four, three, two, one. Well, that's the end of the game, and the Miami Dolphins are the champions of the pro football world.